Hey, hi there, Taurus. Welcome, welcome to your weekly Psychic Tarot and Oracle card reading. Crosswater energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. Remember to check out your rising and your moon and your Venus signs for a more complete picture. And they do meld together. There is a free birth chart calculator link on the bottom, very bottom, of the description box below, and it can help you out with these kind of readings. And Taurus, I'd really like to thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm truly grateful. Today you're going to get five cards from the Raider Wider Rider Weight deck. One crystal card and one angel answer card. So remember to ask a question. There's going to be an answer at the end. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Number 10 of the May Jar Canna in the Rider Weight deck, the Wheel of Fortune. This card is ruled by Jupiter. Now, Taurus, you're in here, one of the guide figures that lead us on to the next phase in life. Taurus, as well as Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, they're the fixed signs. They represent stability and the four corners of the universe, or, this, or, or of the the world. And the Wheel of Fortune has to do with destiny and fate. This is, is karmic. It's a chance, an opportunity, and it's success or an unexpected turn of luck. It's creative evolution within the laws of chance. It's a new chapter starting, aligning with destiny and fortune and elevation, luck it's fate and karma, and as the wheel turns, life changes, and things never stay the same. The wheel can turn forward or backwards, and these events are going to turn around in some fashion. This is going to change on its own accord. It is now beyond your control. It surprises. This can be a gift that goes beyond reason and logic. It's something that's been put into motion now. And you must accept the actions of the forces of destiny and align yourself with their aims. Generally, however, this outcome is considered favorable. Now, everyone should know that fate is a little bit different than destiny. Fate versus destiny. Fate, fate is that which we cannot change. And destiny is that which we are meant to do. Fate is what happens when we do not take responsibility for our life. And destiny is what happens when we commit to growing and learning and taking chances. Being destined for greatness only happens through active, conscious choices, and fate is what you cannot change because you never strive for greatness. Destiny is potential. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Taurus, this Ace of Swords, is another divine influence as well as that Wheel of Fortune because there is a Yod on both of these cards. This is a victory. It's a major breakthrough. Air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This divine inspiration has to do with a new beginning, a brand new way of life. It has to do with a realization, a realization and, and clarity and, and it's crystal clear. It has to do with the truth. Swords have to do with the intellect, the mind, the thoughts, the love of truth and justice and spirituality, and they can express boldness and courage and can sometimes indicate strife. And this is triumph over difficulties. It's a communication, and it's strength and adversity. It's a card of great power, of force, and strength. So build your strength against adversity and study all aspects of a problem carefully and do not make any rash or hurried decisions. And you're going to benefit from a new clarity. It's an intellectual awakening. It could be a communication that's in need of clarifying or you'll find clear meaning of the truth. This card always delivers a reality of a situation. Aces are always exalted. This is getting to the point. It's checking facts. It's being alert, scrupulous, and disciplined. Honest, articulate, coherent, precise. It's getting to the point. It's keeping your promises and proclaiming your truth. It's communicating with clarity, 
even putting it in writing. It's using your mind to cut through obstacles, and it's solving a problem that will lead to great personal growth. The Wheel of Fortune with the Ace of Swords is a new way that's going to come to you if you nurture the idea. It's a clear decision and a choice to end a repeating cycle. You'll need to focus on your goals with positive intentions and do not be distracted by other options or possibilities. It's becoming unstuck with a situation that you were not happy with. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Taurus. The Eight of Wands, fire energy. This is Mercury in Sagittarius. Mercury, another card, planet of communication. Now this card is full of surprises and opportunities. It's a card of movement and action. It's a sudden burst of energy. It's a swift and rapid development with a conclusion. It can be sudden insights one after another. This can be relationship messages coming in about to go forward. It can be a career opportunity to lead a team force. This can be air travel. It's being in the flow. It's movement and action and things happening rapidly. It's the end of delay. It's messages and letters of love. It can be being in love. Infatuation. This is Cupid's arrows and an instant attraction. This can be renewed activity and moving more rapidly towards a goal. It's making your move. This is a card of a breakthrough as well. It's a quick turn of events as well as a turn of events for the Wheel of Fortune. This is a very exciting reading. The Wheel of Fortune with the Eight of Wands is becoming unstuck. It's a positive forward movement, and you need to move quickly to benefit. This is a fast turn of events. It's hitting the mark sooner rather than later. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Something to celebrate here, Taurus, for your future card. And this could be a surprise, being in the future position. The Three of Cups. Water energy. Now... I believe this is Mercury in Cancer, another Mercury card. This is celebrating. It's joyous, ritualistic. You could be celebrating with friends or family members, maybe going to a dinner. I know a lot of us can't get together all at once. This is could be celebrating some kind of healing or abundance or cooperation with others. These are shared experiences. It can be a circle of friends or reunions. But this is only the beginning. It's a happy occasion. It's being sociable and joyful and playful and affectionate. There's balanced emotions here. You could even find a new love. This is gatherings. It can even be a festival. It can even be a happy reunion with someone you may have been apart for a while. Good times are in the air, and this happiness is well-deserved, and there's lots of joyful feelings. The Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Cups is celebrations and good fortune. It's being enriched by team players and like-minded people around you. Here's your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. Number 20 of the Major Arcana, Judgment. This is rising up. This is fire energies. It could be a Scorpio. Scorpio could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. Yes, this is rising up. It's being inspired. It's a new phase, a second chance, a second lease on life. It's rising up and seeking new possibilities. It's like you've been called. It's your true calling and it's an awakening and a rebirth. It's a release and a real review. There's revelations. This is a spiritual awakening. It's a major turning point. It's an evaluation of past actions and the consequences of those actions. 
And it's being accountable for those actions, its truths revealed and mysteries that are unraveled. This is a shift. It's a time to do and a time to act. It's a new phase. It's experiencing a breakthrough. It's leaving the past behind and thinking out of the box. Someone may even return from the past. This is an end of an old way of life and a cycle that is finished. So it's time to seek a new direction and to make adjustments that reflect who you truly are. This is a positive card. It symbolizes regeneration and rebirth after a period of confusion and confinement. Maybe you felt dead in your old life and you'd been confi- con- uh, cocooned or even confined like with this coronavirus stuff. But now you have the unique op- opportunity to enliven yourself and your environment by making appropriate changes. It's a time of freedom to be yourself and you're ready to step into your phase, a new phase of your maturing process, and you're on your way up, and you're letting things grow at a steady pace without hurrying the process. The Wheel of Fortune with the Judgment card is an unexpected spiritual awakening or resurrection. It's a surprise second chance, and it's success and on your way up. It's a karmic new beginning, a major shift, and it's the end of a karmic sty- cycle and the start of a new one. The Eight of Swords, the Ace of Swords with the Eight of Wands, is preparing for a clear communication. It cuts to the point. It's like the engine is revving and the light turns green. It can be an email or social media. The Ace of Swords with the Judgment card is a major breakthrough. It's solving a mental problem. It's facing unpleasant truths that you are able to move on more successfully than before. It's a sudden clearness of understanding. The Eight of Wands with the Three of Cups is an impromptu dinner or a celebration or of celebration. You may need to get out of the way or just go with the flow. The Eight of Wands with the Judgment card is a swift action after delays. The Three of Cups with the Judgment card is reunion and celebrating new purpose and new plans. Here's your crystal from the stone deck by Andrew Smart. Labradite. Labradite. What is it? It's a field spar mineral first discovered in Canada's frozen north. Its stone seems to hold the light of the aurora borealis just beneath its surface. This slightly psychedelic iridescent dance is known quite appropriately as Labradorescence. Who needs it? Adventurers exploring far-off lands. Places alchemical, spiritual, artistic, and dreamy. Any Pisces. Where to put it? Wherever you cast your spells. When to use it? When you've lost your faith in magic. The world is a weird, wonderful, whimsical, watery rock hurtling through space, and you're on it, and that makes you special. Gaze into Labradorite and delight in that. And, proje- and project, protect your magic. It says protect your magic, Taurus. And now, here's your answer. From the Angel's Answers Oracle Deck by Radley Valentine. And the answer is... Perfect timing, Taurus. Perfect timing. That goes very well with the Wheel of Fortune perfect timing. This is the perfect timing for the situation you've asked about. Move forward with confidence. Don't delay or hesitate, because an energy gateway is presently open for you. Conditions are ripe, even if you don't feel prepared. Rest assured that you are. Thanks, you guys, Taurus. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.